Stop barking. Okay guys, good morning, it's that day, it's Tuesday when we've got to install the shed, <laughs> put together a shed. I started uh, taking all the boxes out, right there, taking them all out of the boxes and putting them in the backyard. That in itself is tiring, but fun. This will be a fun job. Okay guys, got everything. As you can see, all here, all leaning up against the uh, fence there. I got some boxes down here and here. and. I'm all set. Took about 15 minutes to unload all the boxes and walk them into the backyard. I figured best to just have everything in the backyard. These are the instructions I'm gonna go off of. As you can see, it's a sun cast. Seven by eight, almost eight by eight, like seven and a half. And we're gonna start. Now, I'm not gonna go as a comprehensive installation or anything. I'm just gonna go follow step-by-step -step instructions and do it. I'm gonna have a time-lapse video running upstairs and showing you the whole thing in like 30 seconds. Probably won't take me 30 seconds, but when you guys look at it, it'll look like it did. Hey guys, I couldn't ask for a better day. I mean, it's gonna be like 15 degrees, sunny, as you can see. No chance of rain. A good day to do this. And it's November 1st. Who would have thunk it? Okay, two and a half hours. Not bad progress. Got the walls up, got all the stuff installed for the trusses and the roof and all the stuff installed for the doors there. So I'm going to have lunch now and then after that we're going to do the um, we're gonna do the roof and the doors and we should be finished. Okay my father-in-law Frank was over here to give me a hand because it's a two-person job when you're doing the uh, roof and stuff like that and uh, he helped me out a lot and now he's gone and uh, this is what it looks like. Gotta put the handle still on, but it is basically finished. I think I did a pretty decent job. And uh, it only took me four hours. It's not bad for doing it by yourself with maybe an hour of help, somebody else. I know every time I come on here, I talk about the weather, but it's amazing. Global warming, it certainly is here. It's November 1st and it's 20 degrees out. I'm in a t-shirt. Awesome. Ow, it's hurting. hurting because you're too big for it. Okay? You hurt your head, didn't you? This, wait, this is Haley's Play-Doh. This, this is the loot right? from last night. This Look is Haley's Play-Doh. Haley, this is Haley's Play-Doh. I'll give it back to Haley. That bowl is just bags of chips. Nobody wants rockets, right? This bowl is, what's this bowl for? Pennies and chocolate. Oh, should that just be a This is Haley's Play-Doh. Uh-oh. We got some juice boxes too. When I say we, I mean a kid. But I'm gonna have some too. Uh, oh, gold Sharing gold is gold. caring. You want body, body parts? Yeah. Body parts. And we Nobody wants a Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll! <laughs> Do you know the song Tootsie Roll? Yeah, Tootsie Roll! No, that's not it. No, it's not. Smokes. Who smokes? I already ate them. Was I not supposed to? You already had a smoke? Yep. Yeah. I ate them. Double roll! What's in your mouth? Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Double roll! Quentin, open your mouth. Let's see what happens in your mouth. Hello? 
and I hate Halloween because I love Halloween because it's Halloween. But all the candy, it's not good. I have no willpower, and the temptation is way too much for me. So we all went through all the kids' candies, and that's uh, one haul, and then that's another haul, and then some of the other candies that we knew they wouldn't eat, we just threw out. They didn't get any um, bottles of alcohol, surprisingly. There was someone here in Milton, a 12-year-old girl, a 12 -year -old girl came home and her mom was going through all our Halloween candy, which all parents should do, go through the Halloween candy. And they found out that she found a little, you know, those little airplane bottles of uh, rum in the girl's thing, and it was open. So they call police, and the police are investigating to see if it is alcohol, and if they can find out, and they'll charge the person. All good? Yep. We had to do the pumpkin lights, because we didn't do it last night, so we had to do it tonight. Is that one even on? Oh yeah, it's on. No, I wasn't recording. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, no, he yeah, actually was. No, he wasn't. We're ending off. You know what? Today's a... Sp oh, we're all wearing red. Stop doing that. It's a special day today. You know why? What? Today's episode is the 100th vlog episode. We've done... I've been watching. <laughs> We've done 100 vlogs. Or I have done... Hey, hi, Quentin. Hi. We've done 100, oh, let me get my hand out of there. 100 vlogs. We need, we should have got your mom to make us a cake. 100 vlog cake. So we should have done. Rudolph. Rudolph? What? What? Oh, Rudolph. What are you okay? Yeah. Oh, I almost dropped my music. Please. 100 vlogs, guys, and maybe more to come. Or maybe we'll just end it here. Let me give you a quick little tour of the shed here. This is the left wall. This is the right wall. That's the back wall. That concludes our tour.